Hello Taurus, this is going to be a reading for you. I'm not going to date it, so time is fluid, so when you come across this is probably when you're supposed to. So I am going to tell you that the oracle cards go here, which are all for you, the tarot cards over here, which will be the energies around you, but you could show up over here as well. So feel free to vice versa, masculine and feminine, so the king and queen on the cards. If you need to reverse that to your situation, that's fine. Welcome cross watchers, which are people who watch our loved ones' videos. And I suggest all my viewers to have a dream journal. Write down the time you wake up, what's in your mind, and a moon journal. Write down how the moons affect you a couple days before a full moon, a couple days after a full moon. If you do that for a year, you'll kind of know which moons make you emotional or how you handle them. So here we go, the first one for you. Thank you for all the support on the channel, I appreciate it. So I'm not sure what to do for this reading, if I should do how your person feels about you. So I'm just going to say, what does Taurus need to know in this reading, Spirit? What can you tell me that Taurus needs to know for their highest good in this reading? So the first one that comes out for you is change, direction with ease, number five. There is a time for change, shape-shifting, or your soul's evolution. It is time for reconsider what you are wanting. You may be in for a surprise. This is the angelfish, and this is yellow, which is abundant. So you're changing. Change is coming in your life, and it's going to be easier than you thought it was, but it's going to lead you to a happier life cycle, the more abundance than the last one you are coming out of. So the next one is 36, blend into the environment. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So this is the octopus. The octopus is very good at being disguised. So like when you're in a room, you know how to observe people and lay below the radar, so to speak, where you can see what's going on, but you're not, you like, don't make a scene so people don't notice you if you don't want them to. And that is kind of your advantage on how you... How, what's the word where they say somebody handles a room or something like that where you kind of size people up when you walk in a situation to figure out how you're going to handle the situation. So the first one of the Chakra Wisdom deck for you is Six of Coins. This is beautiful. The universe feels like you are deserving, that you are, you've put good energy out in the universe and they feel like you're deserving of it back. So then you have eight of coins. Wow, so two coins cards. So this is putting a lot of effort into work. I feel like you have put tremendous effort and time into your work. So you are focused a lot on your income, unless this is somebody around you. I read the cards. You decide how these apply to you. These are all for you usually. You could show up over here, but these are usually the people around you. So nine of coins. So nine of coins is being very successful. Three coin cards. Look at that, Taurus. Where you're going to be so proud of yourself, you're going to be in abundance. Like you're going to be prideful because of your accomplishments and where they've taken you. So the next one is the hanged woman. So the hanged woman talks about there's some sort of delay. You're kind of confused on something or you're not sure about something, so you're holding your space. So, which is good, because I always say when you don't know what to do, don't do anything, because when you know what to do, it'll just come to you. So the next one is Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords talks about a betrayal. It could be a betrayal around money or something owed to you is what I'm seeing, where somebody tried to take something that was yours, almost. So the next one is Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is somebody very nurturing, very loving, very healing energy, very maternal. And then the next one is Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is moving away from this energy, the betrayal. So I feel like it was a friend that you had strong feelings for somehow betrayed you, Taurus. And then King of Wands. So King of Wands is somebody who is very handsome, very beautiful, if it would be a queen in your situation, vice versa that. So also I feel like the Queen of Wands is kind of um, very active in the intimacy department. So let's keep going. And then you have Five of Cups. So Five of Cups is somebody looking to the past and missing something. Somebody has regrets. 
that something didn't work out the way it did, they wanted it to. And then you have the world, beautiful Taurus. So the world talks about things are working out the way they're supposed to. You're moving more into your light, unless it's this person. Um, but somebody's aligning more with their purpose in life, like being to their, true to themselves more. They're learning more of what they want in life. So Three of Cups. So Three of Cups is celebration, happiness, third party situation before everyone realizes there's a third party situation is what I feel. So then you have Temperance. So Temperance tells me that this could be a second time around situation. This could be something that didn't work out the first time. So it's coming around again. So I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cat Tarot deck. The spirit, what does Taurus need to know that would help them for their highest good? Ace of Earth talks about um, being misled by family members. There's some kind of interference in a family structure that was disillusioned. And then you have Earth, five, uh, Four of Earth. So Four of Earth talks about being selfish and taking. And then you have the tower moment. So the tower moment happens when something has to fall apart because it's not for our highest good. So I do feel, Taurus, I'm picking up that there's somebody around you in your friend zone that is, the universe is outing them on something. I don't know what they've done, but I almost feel like the universe is making a tower moment. It make, The tower moment happens when things aren't for our highest good or we've built a false foundation. The universe will let us get away with it for a little while, and they will try to give us messages to correct it. And if we don't, then they'll come in and have us um, have a tower moment where we can rebuild it or walk away from it, either or. So they're giving us a choice in this situation, because something is not working for your highest good. So Fire Kitten. Fire Kitten is somebody very mature, somebody who takes a lot of chances. They don't think about the chances before they take them. They don't think about the consequences. They just are into having fun. So Earth King. Earth King is somebody in heaven coming down. I did have the family structure here. I feel like there was a dissolution. I don't know if this is somebody in heaven right here, but this is... I mean, a family member, this is somebody in heaven for me, saying that they're supporting you and they're with you when you're alone or you're crying, that they're with you. But I don't know if it's a family member. It probably is. So Sky Kitten is somebody um, very immature again, somebody who wants to celebrate all the time, wants to have fun, be immature. And then the floating cat. Wow, you've had the floating woman and the floating cat in temperance. So there's a delay. Is something going on around you? I'm not sure what this delay is. Why is there so much stoppage here? So good kitty. So good kitty is good karma. So look at this. You have good karma here and you have good karma here. So I feel like the universe is probably delaying things because you're racking up your good karma or they're getting ready to give you something beautiful in this transition. And so it's not time yet time yet. They're waiting on the time for everything to fall into place. So the next one for you is Sky Tom. Sky Tom is somebody who is, or this is C Tom. C Tom is somebody who's a player energy. Somebody who's in and out, not grounded, but this person knows how to charm. They know how to sweet talk. Like a handsome car salesman right there. Not literally, I'm just giving you an example. So the Hermit is Virgo placement. So this talks about when you're in your zone, you have all these accomplishments, all these abundance that you have create, created in your life. I do feel like I'm getting a lot of family structure where you're stronger, Taurus, when you break away from your family structure in some way. You feel stronger when you're by yourself. Ideas come to you. You feel strong. You just, you just seem to do well when you're by yourself thinking. And then Six of Sky. So Six of Sky is moving away from chaos and drama. So here I feel like you're thinking about it, and I feel like it has to do with this player energy where you're trying to figure this out. So Sky Tom. So Sky Tom is somebody who is very hurtful to you, somebody younger than you, who's very dismissive. So I do feel like because you're moving away from some drama and chaos, somebody's going to be vindictive towards you for that. 
which in, you know it might hurt your feelings but I'm not th seeing any way that it's going to hurt any of your property or anything they're just going to take swipes at you like with their sarcasm and you know uh, so hopefully you know who that is so I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E cards now so the first one for you Taurus is magnanimous me so something is going to come full circle where you're going to be happy that you made some sort of decision you made or you're happy the tower moment came in. There's something, the change I feel like is making you very powerful and you're very happy. So live wire 35 which would be 8. So this is upright energy healing. I feel like there's um, you're a little more aggressive than you usually are right now because you're just making a change. You're transitioning to something different. So the Earth Wisdom cards for you is Awareness 13. So this tells me that you're getting downloads when you're sleeping, you're getting downloads when you're dreaming, you're getting messages in music, billboards, words, you're getting things that stand out to you, they're trying to communicate with you. This always means to me awareness that they're trying to either up um, lift your high, your rank in the spiritual world like you're raising your vibration so you're getting more codes if you will and getting more knowledge and they're trying to make you aware of it so um, that's what that means to me and the next one you have is grace 14 which equals 5 change so grace talks about being kind to yourself be nice to yourself be loving to yourself talk to yourself like you would if you were talking to your younger sibling when they were little or like you would talk to your little self if you were like five or six so when you get in a difficult situation and you don't know what to do I always suggest to my children to talk think of what you would do if you were coaching yourself as a little kid if you had to tell your little self what you would do in a certain situation go ahead and try doing that to see what you come up with so now I'm switching to the angels and ancestors and you have broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. So the Native American Indians would break their arrows when they became peaceful and friends with other tribes or military members or civilians. So I do feel like you're in the energy of peace right now. You're shifting into a more abundant, more in touch with you cycle. So I don't know what your last cycle was, what you were learning and what you had to accomplish. But this cycle you're getting ready to move into is going to be more easier. So Hunter, track down your fears and desires. So this is things balancing and you growing. So you're balancing and growing, but you're balancing and growing in the energy of peace, which is really good. So you know what it's like to be hunted. You know what it's like to do the hunting. You kind of see both sides of a situation is what I feel. And it's made you strong. You're so protected too. I mean, there's so much protection around you. I see a lot of goat energy, so I don't know if you have like um, the Capricorn, the Aries, the Taurus, obviously in your chart, um, but I do see a lot of knowledge coming into you, light codes that are going to make you feel stronger and more aware. You're raising your vibration is basically what this is to me. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much, Taurus. Bless you.